Hello, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Update. Glad you could join us this evening where it's all about education on today's news update. First, we go to Kim and Brack where 17 new students recently attended orientation at the University College of the Cayman Islands, Brack Campus. The Sister Islands campus first opened back in 2008 and so far 20 students have earned their associate's degrees. Orientation allows the new students to be aware of all aspects of their student experience at the University College as well as how to prepare and plan for success in tertiary education. Now the University College has undergone administrative and faculty changes and has uh, positioned itself as a student-centric institution uh, not driven by the faculty or the administration but determined by the student needs. A publication of the best works of UCCS students to demonstrate to the community the caliber of students that we have at our university. I want to emphasize that every person employed at UCCI, a president, every professor, every administrator, has one main responsibility, and that is to make sure that you succeed. The truth is that, believe what I say to you, we want the university to evolve around our students. You are here for orientation because we want to share with you as much information as you need to hear. I would also want to hear from you. One of the most important things you'll do on your journey here at UCCI is to get involved. Get to know your classmates. Look for the activities and the support systems that will surround you here as students. <coughs> At the heart of our commitment to you is a commitment to put students at the center of everything we do. We are interested in serving a diverse group of learners. So if you're a, in your last year of high school attending as a dual enrollment student, or you're a working adult going back to school to continue your education, we want to make sure that our education is relevant and individualized to support your needs. Now, the new student orientation was put in place to provide the student body with career advice, personal and career development opportunities for a strong first-year experience. Education Minister, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, encouraged the students to work hard and do well. And when you set your goals, take it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. With God's help, all things are possible. So utilize this campus. Do the best that you can. If Lo isn't working, and it seems to be flowing more than your internet coming in to connect with Cayman, just go home and use your internet there. Do whatever you have to do that's legal to make sure that this grades that come out of here, this institution will have the problem. We're gonna to have to find another location that's bigger because we can't hold you. I like those type of problems. The students toured the campus classrooms and took part in an impromptu raffle by Minister O'Connor Connolly. Five students won a monetary grant towards a UCCI education of $250 each. There are currently 39 UCCI students. Now, some, some students are pursuing their Associate in Arts and Associate in Science degrees, concentrating in Business Administration, Accounting, Science, Social Work, and Social Science. This is the second semester of the bachelor's program being offered. Two students are pursuing their bachelor's of science degrees with a concentration in management. Well, a message, a message to continue working hard towards their achievements was also shared during a recent visit uh, with students of the Public Works Apprenticeship Program by Minister Joseph Hugh. As part of a tour of what will be the future home for the program, the minister said he was happy to see that the program is helping so many. He also encouraged the young men and women to keep up the good work. To the students, um, it is fantastic to see all of you young people in here. You've taken the first step. Um, you are assisting us in showing the public that A, the government cares and we are participating and promoting technical and vocational training, but also that you, our young people, are not what we hear and read and all of the blogs and stuff, not willing to take part in it, participating in, and find your rightful place as a well-trained and well-prepared, productive member of our society. The apprenticeship training pro, uh, facility actually is scheduled to open at the PWD compound early next year.
Now, our final education story today highlights the graduation of 19 young adults who are the newest alumni of the Passport to Success program. Passport to Success is a workplace preparedness program that provides participants uh, with training in occupational and personal skill through work placements and volunteer work. Activities are hands-on and practical emphasis is placed on adult literacy and they also learn about integration of general life skills and career-specific vocational education. Guest speakers from local businesses and various industries are invited to the students uh, to speak to the students who also get to work on fun team building activities. Human Resources Counselor Mr. Ors Austin Harris was in attendance with family and friends as students shared their experiences. All right, now let's take a look at today's weather forecast for the Cayman Islands area from the National Weather Service. The synopsis shows light winds and slight seas are expected over the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. This again is due to a weak pressure gradient that is across the Northwest Caribbean area. Today's forecast shows partly cloudy skies are expected with a 30% chance of overnight showers with possible thunder. Winds are north to northeasterly at five to 10 knots. As mentioned earlier, seas are slight. Uh, with wave heights of one to three feet. Now, for more information on our local weather, you can visit the Weather Services website, weather.gov.ky. The latest forecast can also be found on their Facebook page and on Weather Radio Dial 107.9 FM. And you can also download the National Weather Services app at CIA, that's CINWS, to have the latest weather information available at your fingertips. And that's the latest from us here at CIG Television. If you know, want to know what's on our programming schedule, you can go online to gis.gov.ky. If you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or the CIG Television YouTube channel. I'm Donna Bush, wishing you a wonderful and safe night, and see you back here again tomorrow. Do you have a business in the tourism industry? The Cayman Islands Department of Tourism wants you to get listed on their website. Visit caymanislands.com. It's absolutely free and will give your business added exposure on the number one visited tourism site for the Cayman Islands. Learn more and get listed at www.visitcaymanislands.com forward slash sign up. That's www.visitcaymanislands.com forward slash sign up. Deadline is August 15th for all submissions. Don't wait. Sign up today.